right, today is one of the craziest days I've ever seen in NBA history. The Giannis Antetokounmpo led Bucks, the first seed, most wins in the NBA, lost in the first round in five games to the Miami Heat. Jimmy Butler is now the father of Milwaukee. I don't make the rules. Actually, I'm pretty sure he went to college in Milwaukee. So there's that. Or Wisconsin. Giannis missed 13 free throw attempts. And also, we will talk about it as I simulate the video or rebuild. My dogs made it to the second round. I cannot believe it. It is the first time it's happened since I was 11. I will have to rebuild these frauds too soon, with all due respect. All right. The draft lottery. Now, the Bucks obviously did not win the simulation of the championship. They also didn't miss the playoffs. The Hornets gets the first pick. That is very possible to happen. I don't know how the Grizzlies are in there. First and foremost, staff signing. Mike Budenholzer, kick rocks. You are the new face of unemployment. We need a dog around here. I'm feeling Jacob Bunt. Uh, you know, I signed him a lot. I signed him a lot. Hold on. And they fired Taylor Jenkins in Memphis. You know what? This team needs the best coach possible. I'll sign Michael Stauffer. Welcome to the team. There you are. Boom. So in the simulation, since there's no start today, this team went 44 and 38. They're usually pretty awful in 2K simulation. Where is Giannis? Oh, he, he missed the rest of the season. Whatever. This team is usually pretty mid in 2K. I'm going to try and fix them before you run into any issues. Giannis, you are not on the chopping block just yet. 97 the overall man. I'm going to try and see if I could cater this team to you rather than getting rid of you. I know it might sound weird to say Giannis on the chopping block, but I feel like he's usually pretty garbage in the simulation. 25 estimated wins at it says otherwise, though. Literally every single time I put Drew Holiday in the trade finder, they offer me Darius Garland. I want to trade for him so bad. You know, I got to, I think I got a way to work around this. You know what's so crazy? Even if I wanted to kind of like defer and rebuild the Bucks, look at this. They have no picks. I can't even rebuild if I wanted to. They have not one pick. I can't even trade this one because I want to do this trade. I'm going to add Grayson Allen and try and finesse four second round picks out of them. Let me see. They're not interested. Oh, they countered off it to swap second round picks. But is this the way that I want to go out? Okay, so I, I don't want to trade for Darius Garland because that doesn't feel right morally. I know how good he gets in 2K and it doesn't feel even correct to do so, right? But for Anthony Simons, hey, Damian Lillard's still fighting to try and win something over there and they say they say that they, they want to do anything, right? Well, here you go. I'll give you a four overall upgrade and a dude who wants smoke Dame 4-0 in the first round. Give me this trade. Thank you to uh, the Blazers. He's going to be our new point guard. I'm also, I know his shot tendency is probably messed up. I'm probably going to change that. Yeah, no, you got to be shooting like 90% of the time, dog. And yet again, I want to shout out to Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the best place to play daily fantasy sports available in over 30 states. You can use code CLICK. Get 100% back to under $100 of your first deposit. You have to be 19 or older to play. The age restrictions do vary from state to state, and please play responsibly. You can also tap in with this an NBA playoffs $1 million daily super flex to shot to win a million dollars every day. If you put in an entry, one lucky person will get a second entry. If you get six correct picks, you get a million dollars. First and foremost, Jason Tatum, 30 points. He has not reached this high in a while. I'm going to say he gets less, even though he's a fantastic score. We all know that, though. The Hawks are need bogged down to chuck up a lot of shots in the next game to try and you know fend off the feet a little bit more for him i'll say devin booker gets less than one and a half steals i feel like the nuggets are way less turnover prone than the clippers were Trae young surpassed 1.5 blocks and steals in every single one of his last few games i'm gonna take him for more for that lastly i'm gonna go i'm gonna go with kd getting less than seven rebounds this is what i'm feeling I get five correct to get 10 times my money for 200 dollars. you can see the rest of the splits right here thank you to prize for sponsoring the video remember to use code click to get up to 100 back and up to 100 dollars your first deposit and now to get back into the video simon's the new ringleader of milwaukee Milwaukee. I feel like that's more realistic. It, it feels better in my soul. Next up, I can't lie, Brooke Lopez. I like you, but 35 years old, I already know that the fall off is going to be steep. I, the Cavs just keep trying to throw me players. Honestly, I might take, take Jared Allen just to get back for uh, for not taking uh, Darius Garland. Or I can get DeJounte Murray from the Hawks, which seems like it makes even less sense. Okay, you know what? I'm going to make this trade with the Hawks. Brooke Lopez and Pat Connaughton for DeJounte Murray. And the reason why how I'm rationalizing this, I'll even throw in a, uh, a beautiful second round pick to make you really convinced. They, It seems like they traded Clint Capella for Buddy Hill. Onyek is kind of short, so maybe they don't want to play him at center. Brook is still an 85 overall. Even if he regresses, they don't know that yet. They're stupid. Maybe he's the missing piece. They need to stretch big for uh, Trey Young. I don't think he has. he's ha ever had one of those at center. So we'll do this. Take this straight. Why would they? Screw it. Just do it. All right, there you go. DeJounte Murray is going to fulfill the role that, uh, what's his name, had in the uh, backcourt, Drew Holiday. Bobby Portis now moves to center, at least for right now. Grayson Allen, dog, you did a Euro step with no time left in the shot clock. Sold the opportunity at the end there. We can't have a dog like that on the team. I don't trust you anymore. Here, just inclu include this in the trade package of the Hawks with uh, Brooke Lopez. I'll trade them Grayson Allen for a lottery protected first from the Kings. I don't even want him. Chris Middleton is 1 million percent accepting that player option. He will be on the chopping block next season though. Maybe even this offseason. Just because the injuries have been kind of catching up to him and he wasn't as dominant this year. Most importantly, he's just old. He's old. I have the 29th pick in the first round. Nothing more than that. I'll take Sid Sissy with our pick. 6'8", 19 year old shooting guard and Victor went to the Hornets. Oh, Kyrie would be such a fire fit on this team. That is the crazy thing. Like By creating this alter unit, alternate universe a place where I cannot believe they lost in the first round, dog. I, how am I here rebuilding the Bucks right now? Let's be honest. We already know that the Bucks aren't going to make a bunch of trades this offseason anyways. They were the first seed. They about to just fire their coach, maybe trade one dude. Drew is still going to be there. Chris is going to be there. But I'm recording a YouTube video, right? And at the same time, I'm a Knicks fan recording this video, which means 
because I can co-sign if I want to trade RJ Barrett after his fantastic first round series, even if this isn't necessarily realistic. And well, I'm going to do exactly that. Giannis, you've got a new, I don't know about number two scoring option because it's kind of Anthony Simons, but we're going to bring in Chris Middleton V2 instead of Chris Middleton and throw the Marjan Bochamp, Butchamp, I don't know what the hell his name is. And also we get Mitchell Robinson off the bench. There you go. So I didn't free up any cap space to sign any of these free agents because screw them. But I don't think I've ever really traded or signed for RJ in a rebuild. So I kind of wanted to do that. And you know, hey, I'm going to have to at least wait another round to do that for him. The only bad part right now is that because I traded the whole bench, we have no bench. There's a lot of mid out here. So I'm going to just try and throw the bag at Cam Johnson for a couple of years, throw a player option and everything. All right, I got Cam Johnson. And I also got Cameron Payne and Malik Beasley to be our backup guards. Not the greatest, but serviceable no lie i actually really like this team i i like it better than the normal bucks for sure at least after seeing what they just did in the first round well you know what just for good luck i always bring on a former player for that last roster spot let me let me oh george hill that's a good one i lied ursan aliasova actually did you win a ring here he didn't he left right before the ring a long time milwaukee man sorry wesley matthews we're gonna let you go aliasova welcome back to the team buddy Giannis for some reason goes down to a 96 jante's an 88 simon's an 87 rj an 83 bobby Porter this exists and then yeah so on and so forth i signed most of these minimum player guys to uh two-year deals so that next offseason i could trade them for picks hopefully so that i could save the future of the roster because even before these it, it was bad it's been bad i didn't even trade any picks i didn't have any to trade this bastard lindell wigginton just forced his way back onto this roster go to the go to the free agency but this is actually a very nice rotation right here gary harris is 11th man i don't know why jay crowd is injured right now michael stauffer was good i won't say there isn't much to be said man but shout out to my next man i I'm very proud of them for making it to the second round. You already know what it is. I'll be honest, the more surprising thing than the Knicks is, is how much the Cavs disappointed me. They just, it was a very interesting series from that. With the Bucks getting eliminated in relation to the video, there always has been this thought in the back of my mind that like, you know, we're starting to call Giannis the top 20 player, this, that, the other, like in terms of like NBA history. And like, my, there's this thought that's always in my mind. Like, what if it was all just kind of coincidental? Like that, not coincidental, but I don't want to say lucky even because a lot of, basically every championship has a little bit of luck attached to it in terms of, you know, what teams you play and everything yeah i've just always had a thought of like maybe jumping the gun a little bit but that i didn't ever want to like disrespect the honest though i rock with Giannis. but it's the thought of like can he always take over a game and it's not always the case one of the best young stars in terms of taking over a game is luca but buddy's team is so trash that uh yeah and look at that i could have traded for darius garland he's averaging 30 and he went up to a 92 i honestly i wouldn't have felt morally correct if it was that easy all right we already know what darius garland is in 2k we're gonna see him in the eastern conference probably throughout this video it is way more possible Possible that Anthony Simons is traded than him, which probably still isn't going to happen. 38 and 16 were third behind the Cavs and Celtics. You look at the estimated win stuff. Giannis is far and away the most viable, but Anthony Simons and DeJounte are not far behind. Mitchell Robinson as well. RJ is a little bit more mid tier. My God, one, one, just one. The only negative player is Jay Crowder, who I am perfectly okay with trading with action. Matter of fact, get Jay Crowder out of here right now for some picks. That is the perfect play right here. Even if this is a trash pick. Actually, wait, Clippers 2025. Give, give me this right now. Also, sorry if I sound a little bit stupid. You know, I'm saying I uh I definitely caught a little something from one of them Knicks games, but I don't think it's that big body virus everyone been talking about for all them years because I already had that twice and it, it, this isn't really anything too crazy. Sign Blake Griffin old self. He could sit on the bench if we ever need somebody. I had to fill up that roster spot. Oh, Giannis is saying he will resign. Hey, we won't waste it. We won't waste any time here. Come on. You don't even gotta think twice about it. Take this contract. And DeJounte trying to test free agency. Chill out. Why are you doing all that? He's been a pretty valuable player for the team. He's our Drew, our young Drew, but except likes put likes to push refs and get eliminated for uh, he actually that's crazy. He was suspended the other day. I think when Trey hit the game winner and won. Wow. And Giannis got injured for two to six weeks for after I re-signed him. We go hold on to the roster for this season, even though DeJounte wants to leave, buddy. Uh, we'll just re-sign. Oh man, RJ Barrett out six to eight weeks, right? As the playoffs are coming around. He might make it before though. The the injury durations of this game usually aren't accurate. They'll come back like two to one to two weeks earlier. Darius Gar oh my god, I could have traded for this man. I, I like I know I didn't do it consciously, but still. Could I have just done it? I don't know. I'm I'm be actually matter of fact, I'm be rebuilding the Cavs within the next few days. I'm doing the Bucks first, but they both got eliminated today. Quick Quickly won six man of the year. Shout out to him. It's probably because I took RJ away. He had more shot attempts, even though he wasn't starting. Bam won DPOI over Giannis. The hell, what is this? And JB Bickerstaff, coach of the year for the Cavaliers. He probably will not make it to the next season. Giannis gets all NBA first team. A little bit less stats than last year, but I'm not sure if that's a bad thing. He shot better from the field. He didn't have to do as much, and we played better. So that's good. As well as all defensive first team. Oh, RJ is still out for a few more weeks, I would assume. That kind of sucks. But first round, we have the third seed playing Toronto and are clearly better than them. Come on now. No matter what, this should be a win. 3 0 and 4. Four zero, beautiful. Second round. Now in the simulation, they lost to Boston in the second round, and you know that's a pretty big time series as is. RJ still not back, dog. Oh, there he is. Why didn't they tell me he was back? Maybe they're about to right now, actually. Nope, they still didn't. I don't know. They hate me. We won the first game, 
Lost the second one. Won the third. Won the fourth. Okay, let's not blow a 3-1 lead here now. 122 left. We're down by two against Boston. How will Giannis do with the sim? I feel like I rarely ever play against him or have him on my team. Jalen Brown's also got the little uh, yellow injury sign, so maybe he's a little messed up right now. They also uh, told me to summon Mitchell Robinson to start over Bobby Portis, and I was pretty cool with that. Oh, what a pass, though. That is a beautiful pass. They go up by four points. Giannis goes between the legs to the left, guarded by Jalen Brown. Buddy is hitting all these moves just to go to the basket inevitably. Oh, he spins, and he's at the basket. Dunks over Tatum. I don't know what the strategy was there, but it didn't work. Tatum to the basket. He gets doubled back out to White. Missed the White. Back out Tatum for three, and that is green. They are about to force a game seven. Passing to Giannis. Down my five points. Mr. Kumpo to the basket. Easy layup. RJ Barrett in the game. Number 30 guarding Tatum. Tatum goes left, pulls up another pull-up three, and it is green again. This game is over. It is over. Tatum ices it. We are going back to uh, Boston, I guess, for game seven. In real life, Milwaukee was trying to come back from 3-1, and now they're trying to, you know, fend off one. And it's looking like it might fail. Oh, but they're coming back. I guess we're coming back. We are cooking. 142 left. Tied game. Game seven. The pass is in Anthony Simons in the backcourt. Number 25, like D. Rose. Pass over to DeJounte. DeJounte on the left wing. Giannis in the come set a screen. Oh, nope. Cam, Cam Johnson got it. Back to DeJounte in the corner. Mr. Murray, the screen by Mitchell Robinson. Giannis is waiting in the dunker spot. Just give it to him. Nope. Murray shoots it, and he misses. Rebound by Giannis. Giannis down low. He's going to take the layup, and it is good over Robert Williams. A very clutch shot with 119 to go. Jason Tatum goes left. He stops. He's in the post. He bodies Cam Johnson and gets the layup. Tatum out to Murray. Murray back out to Johnson for three, and that is green. Cam Johnson gives us a three-point lead. He makes up for that, you know, Giannis cooking him. I mean, my bad, Tatum. Tatum goes back left. He stops. He goes back out to the three-point line. Smart try to get open, but it really, it's, it's just designed as a play for Robert Williams. Pick and roll. Robert Williams. Oh, Tatum pulls up, and he misses. Just 41 seconds left. Will they foul? No. Oh, Giannis goes all the way. He throws the ball, and it's out of bounds. Celtics ball. Giannis sells. They could have wasted way more time before doing something stupid like that. Cam subs out for RJ Barrett. RJ will guard Tatum. They take a timeout. Uh, Joe Mazzulla wants to talk it over. Tatum. Jason goes right. He steps back mid-range. Back out. Danilo Gallinari wide open for three. His specialty, and he hits it. Back the other way. Giannis. The pass into him. Guarded by Danilo Gallinari is insane. And will they take the last shot? Giannis just six seconds left. He goes all the way to the basket. Back out. Oh, DeJounte Murray for three. That is awful. But the rebound by Tatum, and he heaves a full court shot. It's OT. We're down by two with uh, 43 seconds left. Tatum goes up the court. One stop could save us. Tatum, he's got some room for mid range, and I don't think we're getting that stop. He greens it. Giannis back up the other way. Antetokounmpo goes left. He gets stopped by Danilo. He's going to get a screen from Mitchell Robinson. I don't know why he wouldn't just ISO, honestly. Giannis, oh, down to Mitchell. Mitchell, layup. He misses the help by Boston. We're going to have to foul Jason Tatum. Jalen Brown, I mean. Brown, the first one is green, and the second one is, I don't know, probably green. Oh, he missed it. And rebound by Giannis. Hold on. No timeout taken. Giannis back up the other way. Giannis at the three point line. He'll step back and pass and almost throws it away. DeJounte pulls up. Close shot is good. Maybe a steal here. Come on. A steal. 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 Nope. Not even close. How was Malcolm Brogdon an MVP chance? Not even I know. Two greens. And honestly, this game is over. We know it. This game is over. We lost to the Celtics. Blew a 3 1 lead. And the Bucks have been eliminated. Honestly, hey, soon it's going to be Giannis pack. I'll be honest with you. I'll make a pack right now. Not a pack, but a pack. If Giannis doesn't win a ring for us within the next three years, I'll trade him. Guarantee. Including this year. So I got two more years. And uh, Cavaliers went to the finals and lost to Shea. I miss rebuilding that team. If you didn't see the rebuild I did with the Thunder, you, you watch that after this. Can I see the playoff stats real quick? I think the first move, I'm a man who could admit my mistakes. RJ Barrett was not up to what I thought he would be this season. He might be the first one on the chop block. Cam Johnson did the same thing that he could do. Bobby Portis also shot under 50% as a center. That's not what I want out of my centers. I know you could I know you could shoot and that's good and everything, but yeah, I don't know. I might just bench him for Mitchell Robinson forever, though. That, that might be just the answer there. Nobody played terrible off the bench except for this dude who barely plays. It was an okay run. We should have at least made it to the conference finals. There goes Braun. See ya, buddy. And Westbrook of the Timberwolves. Top teams from each conference are combined and seeded against all other participating teams based on record. I, I don't know what this means, but I'm going to prove it. And uh, no, don't always reject stuff that changes the age of the players, dog. That is so stupid. I, I Players should, they are never going to make players need to be older. Giraffe Lottery, do we have a top pick by any chance? I think we do. Wait, was this the, this is the lottery protected though, wasn't it? I believe so. Yeah, it went right back to the Kings and it's 11. That means that next year we'll have the Kings pick, which is cool. There it is. We already got it. I think what we do this offseason is trade RJ Barrett for one of them top, just a, a better pick. And campaign wasn't the greatest in the playoffs either. So I'll, I'll throw him in the trade offer as well. Pick five immediately offered by the Bulls. I could see that. Maybe not five, but I could see the Bulls wanting them maybe. Jalen Brunson just straight up. That's pretty funny. Pick four by the Matt. That would make kind of sense because the Mavericks, I might go ahead and take that. Or pick six and eight by the Thunder. Oh, you know what? It's always good to screw over the Thunder first and foremost. And secondly, hey, look, Thunder fans, don't think, don't take that to heart, buddy.
buddy. I did a, a video with you where, you know what I'm saying? Look at the thumbnail. It's, it's Shea as Bill Russell. Jordan Poole, I'm good on that. I'm going to take pick six and eight. I think that's more valuable than any other combination of picks. Two young players, that'll that'll work. Give me this from OKC. We needed those desperately because look at like the average roster. We didn't have any young player except for like the this dude that we drafted 29 and these two-way guys that hate us and are going to leave. I'm going to just leave it at that. I don't think I'm going to trade anybody else right now. I could look at Bobby Portis, but I don't know. The Mavs are still offering me pick four even for this uh, package, but that's pretty lame to trade for too many picks. I don't want to have the whole draft class, which eventually like you need players in the draft to win, but I don't know. I'd only do that if I was in a full rebuild, you know? And the only star I would ever want to trade for is Mr. Damian Lillard. That's the only one that makes sense for the Bucks, And I don't know he'll, if he'll ever be available. I also need to trade two stars for him because he makes so much money. NBA draft first pick, Zachary. Who got drafted so far? Worth the sixth pick. I feel like there's still some good prospects. Oh, Ian Jackson is still here. I'm probably going to have to do it. I feel like I drafted pretty often now, but I'm going to have to do it because, well, he's too good. I can't pass up on him. Ian, welcome to the team. Isaiah Collier goes next. And oh my God, I'm going to have to do it again. I swear to God, I did this exact same combination in a recent video, but I'm going to have to do it again. We need a backup point guard too. And he is the only point guard even on the screen. Bronny James, LeBron James Jr. Welcome to Milwaukee. I actually was going to draft whoever got left from him and the other dude that, uh, what's his name? Isaiah Collier. Yeah, because he's a point guard too. I would have drafted him, but yep, it was meant to be yet again. In the second round, I'll take uh, even Marco Jackson. Welcome to the team. I'll move Ian to small forward. So that literally fills the role that RJ Barrett just left behind. We have absolutely no money. Uh, DeJounte got a trash offer from the Warriors. Hey, you said you wanted to test for NC. Well, this is all that you're going to test. Buddy, get back on the team. Actually, let me make sure I can't sign anybody else. Yeah, no, he's far and away the best. You will be back here in Milwaukee. I never realized this. Look at the difference in the bird rights contract and the back contract, you know? By year five of this, he would be getting paid $33 million, but by this one, it'd be paying twenty nine. dollars That being said, I'm going to try and offer him a flat con. It doesn't even matter, honestly. Just give just give him all the money. We're not going to have any money anyways. DeJounte is back. I'm off for Draymond Green a contract. Matter of fact, yet again, make it a two year deal i'm gonna trade him next offseason probably but nonetheless draymond goes down to a 76 that kind of sucks he's gonna be a backup for one way or the other he's a starting five for this season bobby portis asked for a player uh what's it called a uh, re-signing contract extension I i'll give him this even if you ever get traded you're, you're a cool dude G good asset to have kind of weird having an all-star starter just as a luxury chris middleton's still an all-star so good for the knicks i guess they I, they kind of won that trade oh never mind he's on the lakers now and ad's on the Pistons. chris is still at 84 so i definitely could have got away with keeping him but it is what it is instead we got ian jackson young and six pick we're currently 41 and 14 the best team in the eastern conference maybe the nba yeah the nba as a whole and anthony simons the man who i envisioned us you know what i'm saying i say forget darius garland anthony simons has 24 points per game i don't know if it'll be an mvp though he is leading far and away leading the team ian jackson is third Dejounte's playing defense gets some buckets malik is actually pretty valuable he's doing pretty well simons is not far behind Giannis and being our most valuable player on the team and Bronny always finds a way to be super high up on these lists even though he barely plays it's always the rookies dog i'm telling you the rookies are like it you have to draft or you lose i've done many experience experiences i've had many experiences adapt or die oh it's just there you go simons yes resign you probably deserve me more money than this but i'll give you less since you think you're not worth it Lamelo wins mvp isaiah collier six man of the year with the uh next trey man most improved michael stauffer our coach coach of the year with 64 wins Giannis made the all-nba third team this year behind mobley brandon miller jason tatum and victor and he made all defensive second team ian jackson's all rookie first team and Bronny's on the second team just barely because they just gave away spots 64 and 18 on the season four games better than the Cavs though they're still heavily oh my oh wow they got rid of conferences see I didn't know what that meant exactly but they got rid of conferences and I'm here and guess who we're playing first round Miami the 16th seed will we lose to them hell no they really got rid of them we were playing Boston again in the second round up 2-1 3-1 3-2 not again not again Malik Beasley got injured there you go we're, we made it out and we can play Houston in the conference finals will it happen it will the 13th seed in Rockets we Jalen Green and uh, Nicholas Claxton and Reese Beecham at point guard. Wow, I am so stupid. Honestly, I have no clue how long I was muted for, but we did it. We won. I don't know what to tell you. I did absolutely nothing. Thankfully, we jumped in a no game. Sorry, you know what I'm saying? I'm off my game right now. It's it's late and, I, and I'm kind of sick. We we cooked them in game seven. Nearly blew a 3-0 lead, actually. A whole 3-0. Here's a look at the playoff stats per player, whatever, whatever. Giannis, Simons, and Murray were incredible. And your Bucks are the 2025 champions. And no, I didn't jump into any games with my mic muted, thankfully. So yeah, we'll be all right. And remember what I said about trading Giannis? We didn't win in the next three years. Well, I won in the second year out of three. So there you go. He's sticking around. We'll, we'll try and repeat at least. Only thing I had to do the whole playoffs was cut out Javon Carter's minutes. Literally for the last, for game seven, I cut him out the rotation. He was shooting 28% for the field for the entire playoffs. Matter of fact, what did he do for the regular season? He was very efficient in the regular season. I don't know what happened to him. That man was shooting 42%. He, he could not, he, he didn't like the bright lights. Yeah, we, we just, uh, yeah. Thaddeus Young, we got him a ring before he retired. He didn't have one, right? Congrats, Thaddeus. I rock with you. I'm happy you got your ring. Only a second accolade on his achievement. We also got Draymond a ring and he 
he also retired. I was actually planning on trading him. So, uh, well, you can get out of here too, I guess. Draymond gets his jersey retired. You know, we'll, we'll uh, I'll attend, but I, you know, we're not retiring his jersey. No rule changes this season. Draft lottery. Is the Kings pick crazy? It is. Oh no, wait. It's the uh, it's the Clippers pick. Kings must make the playoffs this year. This is the one I got for uh, I forget who. It was Jay Crowder, I think. And it is gonna be pick number six. It stays at six. Oh no, no, it's seven. That works for me. I'm not gonna trade a soul off of this team. It worked beautifully. We won. I would trade Javon, but uh, well, I can't. I do feel like we had another easy playoff run though. I don't know if I, I once again I don't remember if I was beautiful for this, but the Warriors they don't really have anybody except for Steph and I'm mean, a bunch of 83s. I'll keep my seventh pick and draft with it. This is the draft of uh Flory Badunga, and there he is. He's available, but I'm not gonna. Oh, Isaiah Elohim, Dwayne Wade, Ceiling, Trenton Flowers. I'll take the undisputed best player available. No reason to go around it. Elohim, welcome to the team. And with the 20 something pick, we'll take Dylan Harper, 18 years old. And with our second round pick, this dude, Freddie Dylan. I'm gonna get rid of Sid Sissy. I rock with him though, you know? Bucks culture. Why not? He wanna ring with us. Keep him around. Simon League Beasley back. Also, Jeremiah Robinson Earl is here to be, uh, be honest, his new backup. I feel like that's a good idea. Shout out to Draymond Green, man. You did your job. I've got one more spot for a player who's nice and de deserves a ring. Hey, actually, ooh, Steven Adams is a good one. I was gonna give it to Derek Favors, but I'll give it to Steven Adams because I might actually need a center at some point if my centers ever get injured. There you go. Welcome to the team. For some reason, the Jante got worse, but Ian Jackson got way better. Way better. So did Bronny. And Steven Adams got way worse. But that's expected. Back to an 11 man rotation with our last player being our rookie, Isaiah Elohim. We are 39 and 14. That's the best in the East at the very least. Giannis has to re sign again. Hey, we will be doing that. Our reigning champion, 31 year old. Mitchell Robinson, you as well. You could have a four year deal, buddy. And Cam Johnson. He just wants a minimum. Take a little more than that. Go for three years. Lamelo wins MVP. Trey Johnson, rookie of the year. Bronny, sixth man of the year. 16 points per game off our bench. We didn't even have that from him last year. We won the ring. 65 wins. I think just slightly better or worse than last year. Giannis, all NBA second team and defensive second team. Isaiah Elohim, all rookie second. We are the first seed in the NBA in general. I do have the injuries on automatic right now because I've been trying to get through the season faster. Bobby Portis is hurt right now, but we should be all right. First round against Atlanta. One, two, three, four. Second round against Cleveland. Much better team, but we still win in five. And Orlando gone in five. Wow, this has been uneventful. We beat the Rockets last year in the playoffs, actually. Jeez, as I said that, I was thinking about how I muted my mic last season, so I went to go and look and I made sure, yeah, it is not muted. And they're all right. It's just Jalen Green, really, though. First game to us, second game to us, third game to us, and fourth game to us. Giannis back to back MVP, finals MVP. He's got three rings now, and after all that stuff, I was saying that, you know, you could question his legacy, whatever, as he continues to lose in the earlier rounds. Hey, now he's got three three rings, three of them. Let's see if I can, I can at least get him to that LeBron Kobe level, you know? I didn't check any playoff stats either, but we'll just check the season stats. He was uh he was actually under 20 points per game as Bronny jumped up so much. DeJounte also didn't average, he averaged fifth most on the team. But the team is a well-oiled machine though, so no need to question it. Sid Sissy was pretty awful whenever he played though. Jimmy Butler retired, Eric Spolscher retired with them. I'm telling you, even without the ring, in my personal opinion, Jimmy is a 100% Hall of Famer. Some of these playoffs, we need to give value to playoff runs. Like, yeah, that's it. I don't need to expound into that too much. Eliminate the five second back to the, all right, well, nobody's really breaking that rule anyways. And get this rule the hell out of here, dog. The draft lottery, we do not have any top picks. I was about to trade Sid Sissy, but I can't. Giannis is the oldest player on the team, except for Steven Adams, who I signed as an old man to sit there and do nothing. I'm going to go in and draft a player with that 30th pick. Oh, they got Caden Boozer available. That's uh, Carlos Boozer's other son, not not uh, the other, whatever, the one that usually goes first. We'll take Caden Boozer, man. He averaged 15 assists per game, best in the nation. My God, I'm probably not going to sign the second round pick, but screw it. Uh, take yeah, take that guy. Put him on a two way deal. That works. Oh, never mind. Yeah, just release him. Then, sissy, sorry, buddy. I'm going to let you go this year. $5 million for you to shoot 35%. You, you, didn't, you didn't earn it. You did not earn it. Signed Derek Livers and Rui Hachimura. The contracts. There, we had uh, what's it called 13 players. There's the last two roster spots. Cam Johnson, the only player regressed. I'm pretty sure he got injured a couple times last season. So, hey, maybe that's why. What a beautiful team. It's still working to perfection. Going for the three P. Dang, I signed Derek Livers to be backup. I mean, to be our third string center. He went up by three overalls in the off season. They got him playing minutes. I'll let him rock. Yeah, he could play some minutes. Usually I like I, it, that. Uh, what that does is it kicks Malik Beasley out the rotation. And usually when I sign guys, if I already have a set rotation that's winning rings, I'll try and sign a, guy, sign a guy who's worse than the rotation so that they don't, you know, interfere. They'll just come in when someone gets injured. And I try to do that, but that guy just got better than expected. And well, it's working either way because we're 22 and one. What's crazy is, I'm going to say it again. I could add Darius Garland. Giannis makes the all-star team. Do we have any uh, new ones on here? I don't think so. This is Josh Giddy, but he's not on our team. Team, so who cares 46 and 6 far and away the best get them extensions in real quick one of the best features thank 
thanks 2k for actually fixing this bobby portis is starting to see his fall off uh pretty soon after like like you know now i'll have him a two-year deal for a couple million dollars i could feel uh you know him him falling off pretty soon though he is also a three-time champ though is he the only player i have on here from the original buck i think so uh bobby portis yeah yeah, it's just him. Him and Giannis are three-time champs. He'll, he'll go down as the uh, We'll try and make him fake Robert Ori. Maybe like more like a uh, Derek Fisher, I guess. Giannis Antetokounmpo with 20 points, eight rebounds, eight assists, one steal, and two in one block. A very normal stat line. Not normal, though. He, he far and away got to be his most assist ever. Wins MVP. He doesn't win DPOY, but you'd also imagine that as high, as good as he is, a, a defense would probably help that case as well. As Chet wins DPOY after the Thunder did not re-sign him. That is crazy. And we won 72 games. 72 and 10. Giannis hasn't even made the first team in a couple of years, so it's uh, impressive to see. Dang, Jokic dislocated right Patella. All defensive first team, Giannis. So, hey, he was in his bag this year. Kind of old man. And the Buck, uh, we're playing the, the Celtics in the first round. Smoked them. Second round against the Pacers. It's kind of weird that we're always on the left side and as an Eastern team. Smoked them. And Utah in the conference final. See ya. Playing the Timberwolves in the final. Team I just, uh, well, I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna have the Bucks rebuild out before the Timberwolves won, but I did just rebuild them, so you'll be seeing that soon. They got Edwards, Towns, DJ Wagner, Ivica Zubats, and Jaden McDaniels. I don't know why I simcasted. I didn't even want to simcast. I don't think, I mean, this is a good team, but yeah, we're going to, we're going to win this game. There you go. 33 points from Simons. Matter of fact, can I see the player stats for uh, the regular season? Yeah. So Simons are actually Jackson led the team in scoring. Bronny James and Jackson top two or top three, I guess. Oh, DeJounte Murray. I haven't even checked injuries. He's actually injured right now with a sprained right foot for one to two weeks and he is not playing. He also missed a good amount of games in the actual season. And dang, Derek Livers started 52 games, the most games for any of our Centers. I did not expect that. And it once again, it must have worked because we won 72 of them. As of today, oh, they just put him back in the lineup. And Isaiah Elohim is currently starting at the two with DeJounte Murray hurt, but it doesn't seem like it's hurting us against the Timberwolves. Let's see. Second game, they win by one point. Okay, come on. Come on now. Get your wins. There you go. Come on. 3-1 and 4-1. The Bucks, Giannis, finals MVP, averaging almost the same stat line as his normal one. You know what? I'll make a pact. I'll keep going until we lose. Similar team, unless, you know, whatever, whatever. It doesn't take too long to get back there. But we're already success story as is. Three-time back-to-back champs with the trade of uh, Brooke Lopez for DeJounte Murray. And also, I threw them Grayson Allen, right? Drew Holiday and stuff for Anthony Simons to try and help them contend. But they're stupid. Ian Jackson and Bronny, I got them in the trade for RJ. Bobby Portis is still here. Mitchell Robinson was also in the trade for Chris Middleton. Jeremiah was a free agent. Agent. Cam Johnson was a free agent, another draft pick in Elohim, and so on and so forth. I was just trying to explain how we get the main core, but you've been here the whole time. Nothing too crazy, but it helps when you got Giannis. Change the shot clock to 35 seconds. Honestly, I'm not I'm not feeling this today. I'm good, dog. It's gonna I'm good. We've already won three straight rings with the same stipulations. I want to see how far we can go. And we didn't get no top pick or nothing. Hey, re-sign that man, Michael Stauffer. Get him back here for all the money he needs. Sign back. Don't worry. Don't even think about it. no thought of leaving. You know what's crazy? This is a deep cut, but Tobias. Harris used to be on the Bucks. I remember when I was young, you know what I'm saying? Tobias has on the Bucks for three seconds. The 79 overall, we actually need to do a small forward, a power forward right now. We don't need one, but for the last roster spot, throw him a deal. Throw that man a uh, one year, $4 million deal. Give him some money on his way out. Why not? Ian Jax is a 93. Bronny's an 89. And DeJounte went down by one. He's a little bit old and he was also injured for a lot of the season. Both Cam Johnson and Tobias Harris actually get a little bit worse, but thankfully we do have a lot of shooting guards to step in at a uh, small forward. They got Bronny James starting alongside. Uh, they got Bronny starting over Simon now that's cool that's fine they're playing the same amount of minutes they'll both get their buckets one way or the other hey malik Beasley want to resign the season didn't even start yet you know what buddy I li i've liked you around the team take a four-year minimum deal there you go dang dejounte murray injured yet again Giannis is also kind of injured but nonetheless i am resigning simons and murray for sure these guys are going to be bucks lifers we've established a new culture over here no matter how it happened it happened Dejounte, you as well take that money and lastly jeremiah robinson you know i realize we actually have an abundance of big men we actually have too many but dang he just wants a four-year minimum deal you could have it Stay around cam johnson just a cool dude a minimum ain't hurting us you too don't play anymore but if we need you hell maybe Giannis still an all-star starter and ian jackson's here for the first time Giannis is down to just 16 points per game eight rebounds and eight assists chilling as ian and Bronny take the reins of the franchise currently like i said adapt or die and Bronny is the most viable player hell Giannis is the fourth most viable player on the team is he still in the mvp race this year after winning last year uh no it's ian and Bronny. that's what's up though winning an mvp in your last year of being the top dog is actually pretty cool victor wins MVP. Michael Stauffer, 69 wins. First seed again, obviously. First 
first round is a win. Second round, up 3-1. Up 3-2 and 4-2. Who's on Brooklyn? I don't know. They just intrigued me. They haven't been good in a while. They got Scoot. What's crazy is, I, I think I'm kind of, I don't know if I'm, but I seen in Scoot in a video where he was an 84 overall capped out. Also, they have Jabari Smith Jr. as well. Pretty solid team. And Jordan Poole, but um, we're up 3-1. 4-1 into the finals yet again. We're playing New York. The Knicks, and they have Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell had to give in and go to the Knicks after three years with the Cavaliers in his free agency year. He dipped off and went to the Knicks, and they are now in the finals alongside Nasir Cunningham, the star young player, and Isaiah Collier, who was the other dude I was going to draft with didn't get Bronny. And he's still solid. He's 85. First game's a win. Second game's a win. Up 3-1 and 4-1. Giannis, another ring. Hey, he's getting up his GOAT talk. I can't lie. That man has three MVPs and five rings now. He's tied with a lot of people, but most notably probably Kobe Bryant. Has more than LeBron, I think, right? And his son, well, I mean, LeBron's son almost has as many as, uh, yeah, he does. He does. Got Tobias Harris a ring. That's what's up. Kawhi and Dame are out of here. I, I really did want to get Dame before he left, but he, 24 million dollars. Dang, nobody retired Kawhi's jersey number. Wow, I just realized that. No rule changes. Thank you. Nothing crazy. And the Bucks, I don't think anywhere to be found in terms of pick. 30th pick in the draft. Um, they could draft it for him. Actually, matter of fact, just trade. Ah, eh, no, yeah, you could draft it. Welcome in new young players. Actually, matter of fact, I'll do it for him. I talked myself into it. Dang, why is the eighth rated player still here? Not even like he's terrible. He's a C rated dude. Sure, I'll take him. I'll take the shot. He's an absolute pit bull on the defensive end of the court. Dale. Oh, to decline Caden Boozer's offer. He's pretty good. Oh, Donovan declined his player option. He's about to leave again. And I got to resign Brian. Ronnie and Ian Jackson are only two premier draft picks this entire video, but they have been premier, premier all right. Very premier. Hit them both a little bit more than what they're asking for. Screw it. You guys have helped us preserve Giannis's career life. And Ian Jackson still tried to leave, but obviously we're matching it. What? What are they talking about? Ian Jackson decided to sign with the... What are they talking about? What are they talking about? Oh, yeah. Look, it says Bucks. No way, right? Okay. Thank God. What the hell was that? What was that scare? Our small forward's been getting worse over the year. I'm going to sign an actual good one. It'll be Isaac Okoro. No, give me Trey Murphy. He's definitely way more similar to what Cameron Johnson was for us. Trey Murphy on the team. I'm not even going to go too crazy with signing people now. I'm getting tired of this. Are we still going to keep winning? Giannis goes down by one. Ian Jackson goes up to a 95. He's now the best player on the team, although they're tied. All right. If, if we win again this year, I think I'm going to call it day and uh, let Giannis, you know what I'm saying, win his sixth ring. Hey, but Giannis still an all-star starter, though, which is actually pretty crazy because I don't think Ian Jackson's here at all. Ronnie is, though. Dang, what happened to Ian? 49 and 5. The Knicks are the second best team. I would assume Donovan re signed then. Oh, Ian's out for four to six weeks with a torn hamstring. How long has he been out? Played 51 games so far. So I guess he's played most of the season. Giannis, hey, just for the road, buddy. Hold this three-year extension. Hey, Bobby Portis, I said you were going to fall off, too. You never did. Take a three-year extension just for that. Mitchell Robinson, I never expected you to fall off. You're too good for that. MVP is Victor. De'Aaron Fox wins six men of the year. Yes, six men. And we won 73 in nine games, tying the Warriors the greatest team ever. Giannis made all NBA third team. Still 18 and nine and eight a game. Became an elite passer in these last few years. First seed against the Warriors, our former finals matchup, and we smoked them. The Nets second round had an interesting team last year, but we smoked them as well. And the Nuggets, I think Jokic is still there. And we're up 3-1. See ya. Victor Wimbanyama versus Giannis. This is probably the ultimate challenge. Him and Nick Smith and Markel Fultz and Mark Williams. It looks like our whole team is relatively healthy right now. You know what's crazy? This is crazy. I never realized that I didn't re-sign old dude Livers. Derek Livers, he's just gone. I completely forgot about him. I never re-signed him. Well, first game we won. Second game we won. Third game we won. And fourth game we won. Giannis, MVP of the finals yet again. Hey, I gotta give him his props. He continues to dominate in all the awards despite him having 10 being 10 years older and also statistically sometimes worse than some of these other guys he averaged 20 10 and 9 in the playoff he now has six nba championships including five straight we can go on and on for a couple more years probably probably six more years but for the sake of my sanity i, I just did a thunder rebuild for 13 years or 15 or something and got went until shea retired i think six rings is good enough to prove the dominance of this team it's been fun though it has been fun interesting to set a new uh precedent for this organization here's a look at the full playoff stats for the entire team yet again Bron Bronny led the team in scoring and assist. Giannis always holds down the rebounds. Ian Jackson, Anthony Simons, Elohim, DeJounte, so on and so forth. Portis actually got injured at the end. And a lot of these guys, um, I kept around for like the last five years. Never really had to make another trade. So that kind of settles one thing too with the with simulations is that, of course, this team is insane. But even without Bronny, even in Bronny and what's his name? Uh, Elohim? No. Even in Bronny and Ian Jackson's rookie season when they were still 70 overalls and playing off the bench and doing well, we won the championship with Simons, Murray, and Mitchell Robinson and Bobby Portis leading the way, right? So whenever I do simulations and Giannis isn't winning it's actually because the Bucks aren't good in 2k as a team not really him he's pretty he's pretty solid he's pretty great actually I'm happy to debunk that if you watch every video you might catch on to 
him never really being good in this. And yeah, let's gain seven subscribers in this video so I could have more subscribers than rings that Giannis got. I remember I said that once and I saw some dude taking it genuinely in the comments. Like, yeah, you'll get seven subscribers. Six championships. Maybe he's better than Mike. It's been real. It's been fun. But it ain't been real fun. Uh